All right, folks, we have some serious stuff we need to talk about here. I don't know if it's because of the allergies that are destroying all of this right now, <clears throat> but um, there is something that... I kind of thought it was always a me thing. Um, but then when I was talking a little bit about it, um, I got some comments from people um, saying that they also have dealt with that. <clears throat> and what that is, is um, book smells. And um, when I brought it up before, it was about cats. And how, like, some books look like um, you brushed a cat with the book, you know. And, like, you buy a book at a used bookstore and it's just covered in cat hair. And um, the book stinks and the whole thing. Well, um, this book smell problem really hit me hard. Um, I'm doing a book haul that um, was me ordering a bunch of books online and they're all coming on different days. So as they come, I record it. Um, but I haven't put it up yet because I haven't done, I haven't got all the books yet. So once that happens, um, I'll be posting that video. But, um, some of these books, man, like one of the books I was so excited to read and I had time to do it yesterday. <clears throat> um, I had to take Zoe somewhere. She was going to go inside for a bit. I'd sit in the car and read my book. All right. I'm so excited to read this book. I open it up and this, like, I don't even know what the smell was. It was, um, I don't know. Like it was sharp, but it was kind of sweet but rancid at the same time. And, um, like, and again, I'm on so much, like, allergy medication and decongestant and everything that, like, my senses might be heightened, but, like, my nose just started burning. And I'm like, what in the fucking hell is this book? Like, why, did the, why does this book smell like this? And it just made me so mad that, like, um, I ended up writing a poem about stinky books. And um, I posted it up on my website today. So um, if you if, if you want to feel this with me, if you want to feel me on this, you know, you could go over there and take a look at it. But, um, like, what are the worst smells you guys have ever had in a book? Like, um, I've smelt cat piss. I've smelt vomit I think I've opened up a book and found like a uh like petrified piece of salami um that didn't really smell bad but it like stained the book or whatever I don't think it had a smell but um and have you found like dead bugs in your books before cuz I enjoy doing that like if like a bug lands on my book while I'm reading it, I'll slam the book and um, have that be like a reminder to other bugs of what will happen. But see, bugs don't think like that. I always thought they did. Like if I killed a spider, I would leave the spider carcass because like wherever I killed it because that would warn the other spiders, shit, this guy means fucking business. We shouldn't be in here. Um, but that doesn't fucking work because spiders will just eat the dead spider and whatever. Maybe they won't. I don't fucking know. I'm not a spider-tologist. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, book smells, um, are gross when, um, they do that. And then I don't know too, like when you borrow a book from somebody, and, like, you think you know them well. You've been to their house, and their house doesn't smell, but you borrow a book from them, 
and suddenly that book smells like different and it's just not okay and then like um in the poem I talk a little bit about it like I had one of these books here I can't remember which one it was but um it just smelled awful like cats so I left it outside opened it up um, put like weights on the cover, like opened it and put weights on it and left it out in the sun for three days and it was fine. Um, so that's kind of like my go-to thing. Um, but some of these smells, man, they're just, what's, what smells do you guys smell? Let me know. So, um, oh, by the way, I'm going to try to do a little thing called a sit, uh, all right, so um, Pharma Phoenix Rises is um, uh, actually selling better than I thought it would, um, or just better than other things have sold in the past. So if you want to get a copy of it, you need to jump on that, because after they're gone, they're gone. Um, all these links will be in the description down below. Um, Breakfast of Champions starts Friday, so if you're going to be a part of that, get on that. And... Um, is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. I do have big news coming up um, very shortly, but um, I'm biding my time, as they say, in the biding community. So I will talk to you guys later.